part of your Tuesday night with us for News 5 at 6. I'm Diane Derby. A bill to add requirements for county coroner candidates has cleared its first committee at the state capitol. News 5's Allison Zimmerman is showing us the changers, changes that is lawmakers are considering. Allison. Diane, when you think of what offices you see on your ballot, county coroner may not be the first to come to mind, but the state's constitution does require the coroner to be elected, and some say the requirements in place are not enough. The first day you are in office, something awful is going to happen and a family is going to need you and you better have the skills to do the job. Dr. Leon Kelly is the El Paso County Coroner. He showed up to the Capitol today in support of a bill to create more requirements for people running for his office. This bill addresses what I think is the obvious, which is you don't want someone showing up to your house to investigate the death of the person you love who doesn't know what they're doing. Here's what Colorado law currently says about county coroner candidates. You have to have a high school diploma, be registered to vote in your county, and not a felon. Some lawmakers say it's not enough. You can't run for DA and not already be an attorney. You actually can't even serve as a county surveyor. You can't even get on the ballot as a county for county surveyor without being a licensed surveyor. Representative Stephanie V. Hill from Colorado Springs is sponsoring the bill. It would require candidates in counties with a population of more than 150,000 people to be either a board certified forensic pathologist or a nationally certified death investigator. These 11 counties would be impacted. Dr. Kelly says currently only two of these counties do not meet the requirements. That 150,000 threshold for population is important because it captures all of the big counties, the counties where you're going to tend to have the largest volume of cases, the largest number of homicides. Other coroners say requirements are needed across the board. Well, I don't think the bill goes far enough. I think it should go a little bit farther to incorporate all county coroners, which would include all 5.8 million citizens of Colorado. Uh, death investigation is really important and it should include all corners. The bill passed committee on a 9 to 2 vote with one Republican voting in favor. Monument State Rep Don Wilson was among the no votes. I felt the bill was very unnecessary. This is not an area that we're seeing a lot of struggle in. But coroners like Leon Kelly feel that if some changes are not made, it could put counties in a difficult position in the future. You, know, you, you never want perfect to get in the way of better and currently there is no bar to be the coroner, essentially. This at least puts a bar in place. El Paso County has had a forensic pathologist in office for 60 years, and in 2022, the most recent data we have, the county performed autopsies for 23 other counties. The bill will now move on to the full house for a vote. We'll let you know what happens next. In studio, Allison Zimmerman, News 5. Allison, thank